Look at mummy. Stop always looking away. Ah, oh, hello. Who's a gorgeous girl? Who's a gorgeous girl? I've got loads of dog hairs on me now. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about some style tips for if you have an hourglass figure like mine. I have an hourglass figure. I would say I have quite an exaggerated hourglass figure. It's not so obvious in clothes, but when I take my clothes off, which I won't do on camera, then I do have quite, um, I mean, am I in proportion? I don't think I'm in proportion. I would say I'm quite disproportionately small on my waist compared to my bust and my thighs and legs and, no, thighs and hips and bum. I'm, I don't know why I can't work out the camera setup today. Right, that's enough rambling for today. So let's get into the first thing that I do when I am styling up clothes to try and flatten my figure and look and feel my best. So the first thing that I would always say is really, really important if you have an hourglass figure is to cinch in your waist. If you're wearing something that just kind of hangs from your boobs, it can make you look a lot bigger than you are, which is fine if that's what you want to do. But I think most of us probably want to just show a little bit more shape. It's a little bit more feminine. It's a little bit more flattering. And so I like to usually highlight my waist. So today I'm wearing leggings with this top, which is a little bit naughty, I know, but you don't see the leggings. You only see the knitwear. <laughs> so I've got an elasticated waist that pulls me in anyway. And then the drawstring, you can draw a string, you can tie in a little bow and just cinch yourself in as much as you need to. Usually when I'm buying clothes, I bear this in mind. I don't generally tend to buy things that are very baggy and loose fitting because even though I do quite like that style it just doesn't really suit me so I quite often look for those fit and flare style dresses Ted Baker are really really good for this Shein are actually really good for it as well I mean Shein are good for pretty much everything they've got they've got so many categories on their website like it's mind-blowing <laughs> they've got literally everything that you could possibly be looking for another style that is really flattering for the hourglass figure is more bodycon so this is I was gonna say controversial it's not controversial but it's not necessarily an all-encompassing style although I suppose the fit and flare style is maybe a little bit too girly and romantic for some people whereas bodycon is more if you're into like a sexier style oh Polly are absolutely amazing for this I bought this dress a little while ago and it honestly I feel like it was made for figures like mine it's so so nice it cinches you in here at the waist and then it's got this like ruched detailing at the back so it just makes everything just look smoother and well not smoother because it's ruched but it kind of hides I don't want to say sins because oh it's so hard to talk about things like this because I don't want anyone to think that I think it's bad having a big bum. I mean, I don't particularly like my big bum, but I don't want people to think that everyone should have a small bum or everyone should be aiming to dress as if they have a small bum. But you know what I mean? Like we want to look and feel our best. And if your bum is something that you want to hide, I feel like this detail is really, really helpful because it just shows it off like to its best. Like it's not hiding your bum but it's working with it to make your figure look the best that it can look. I just think this dress and this style is just so amazing. And oh, Polly do loads of dresses in this style. I've been looking on their website a lot lately, actually the leggings that I'm wearing right now are from oh, Polly, and they do some leggings with this like ruched detail at the back. So I suppose really it's probably to help you make your bum look a little bit bigger actually, because that's what everyone wants now, isn't it? But I find that it kind of does both. Like I think it adds a little something. I don't know, what does it add? A little bit of plumpness a little bit of bubble butt but <laughs> but it also um, does it in a flattering way if you do have a bigger bum as well the other thing with this dress and a lot of oh Polly's clothes is that they do have almost like a kind of corset style at the top as well corseting is a really really big trend this year and let's face it it is perfect for those of us that have a bigger bust again it is a little bit of a sexier style but there's ways that you can make it work for a more girly style if that's what you're into I think a lot of the people that watch my videos are of that more girly romantic style and if you have a look at cottage core and things like that on Instagram and Pinterest, then you'll see ways that you can style a corset to make it a little bit less dominatrix <laughs> and a little bit more, I suppose, kind of Victorian style and just more feminine and less sexy. There is of course nothing wrong with the sexy style. I actually am very into the sexy style. I just have to kind of be in the mood for it. And I don't like to do it for every day. I prefer to save it for when I'm going out. So that's why I own dresses like that one that I just showed you. But I wanted to show you another option for a dress that is in that style or that kind of body comp style, but is a little bit more conservative. So this is from ASOS from a brand called Vesper. And it's just a little bit longer. So it's a scuba style material, would you? No, it's not scuba. It's like a, it's like a very stretchy, fabric and it just smooths everything over. It's really, really handy 
to have if you do carry a little bit more weight in certain areas and you want to kind of smooth everything out this fabric does that really really well and it is a midi length which I can't show you because I'm not tall enough but <laughs> it comes to when I have it on it comes to a little way below my knee so it comes to I mean I'm very short so obviously it won't be this short on most people although I may have got it in the petite I can't remember so it comes to about my mid calf which means that when you're walking around this style it does tend to ride up a little bit but if it's in a midi style it's quite long anyway it doesn't really matter it just kind of rides up to kind of knee length which is absolutely fine and if you have a look at the way that it is designed you can see that it does come out a little bit here at the hip area and goes in around the waist area but I do find that there's a little bit of bagginess around the waist here but it's not really a problem because the material is as I say quite stretchy so it does still show that really nice curvy figure. I'm showing you a lot of dresses today but I'm still talking about the waist area so this is another thing that you can do is you can buy dresses that have a little tie belt with them so you can either have one that's already has a tie belt existing or you can always just get a belt and add it to any dress that you like so if you do see a dress that's really beautiful but it's really loose fitting then you don't have to just ignore it you can just buy it and add a belt so this is the dress that I wanted to show you because it also has a plunge neckline which I think is really really flattering for figures like mine because a v-neck is kind of typically what traditionally people would have said you should wear if you are an hourglass figure but I think that that can look a little bit matronly and to be honest it's not particularly in fashion ever really it's kind of it's always around but it's not really something that gets people excited it's not something it you can feel a little bit boxed in if you just stick to that so i find that a plunge neckline is just as flattering as a v-neck probably more so i would say and also looks a little bit more contemporary now you may be thinking if i have big boobs i can't wear plunge necklines but don't worry i'm a 32f and i can wear plunge necklines all you need to do is get a plunge bra that fits you really well and don't forget to check out my how to dress if you have big boobs video which I will pop up here somewhere for you. Now speaking of the traditional advice that would be given to women with hourglass figures then I'm sure a lot of you learned those rules and guidelines from growing up watching programs like Trini and Susanna's World Not to Wear and Got Kwan's How to Look Good Naked. They are a little bit controversial now people don't like to be told what to wear and I am certainly not telling you what to wear but I think it's useful to know those rules because I think they can be really helpful particularly if you're not quite sure how to dress your figure maybe your body's changed or you're only just really getting into fashion and only just starting to really be bothered about what you're wearing then it's really useful to know those rules around how to dress your figure and also you need to know them in order to be able to break them but one thing that really stuck in my mind I think it was in Trini and Susanna's book what not to wear I used to have all those great big hard bags that Trini and Susanna and Gok Kwan did I absolutely loved them I think my mum might even still have them I might have to have a little search for them next time I go down but one thing that really stuck in my mind from I think it was a quote from Trini she said the hourglass should always be the most well-dressed woman in the room and again we've got words like should <laughs> in there and it's kind of telling you what to wear but or what not to wear in Trini and Susanna's case but I actually think that's a really useful tip for hourglass figures because if you dress too casually it can make you look sloppy or I have found this anyway. I have an hourglass figure and I have found that if I wear trainers and jeans together then I immediately look really really sloppy. So if I'm going to wear trainers and I'm not just heading to the gym then I will pair them with a midi skirt, something a little bit more feminine just to balance it out a bit. I don't know what it is, I don't know why wearing more casual clothes can make an hourglass figure look so unflattered but that is certainly something that I have found to be true. I do believe that if you have an hourglass figure you should always strive to just look a little bit more well put together than most people might do for certain occasions so if I'm going down the pub I might wear a pair of jeans but I might add a pair of heels and that's something else that's really useful is when you're looking for footwear always look for something with a very slight lift it doesn't mean that you have to be uncomfortable you don't have to be wearing stilettos all the time but just look for something with a slight heel block heels are really really useful in fact I'm going to show you some shoes that I got fairly recently so here is a pair of black mules from Stradivarius which would be absolutely perfect for going down the pub a lot more comfortable than stilettos because they have this kind of almost halfway between a block heel and a stiletto heel and they are really really low and then we have 
a low block heel as well, which is the comfiest heel in the world. Both of these are so much more comfortable than say a kitten heel, which I think originally was meant to be like the comfy stiletto, which I think is probably actually more uncomfortable than the stiletto. And they are bang on trend as well, so much more on trend than kitten heels and just elevate an outfit really, really well. So again, I'm not saying that you have to be, well, you don't have to follow any of these uh, rules or, or this advice, but I'm not saying that you have to be dressed up all of the time. I'm just saying, have a look at ways that you can smarten an outfit up a little bit. If you really want to be out in jeans and trainers and maybe look for trainers that have a little bit of a lift to them so you can actually get trainers that are essentially heeled trainers, which um, I don't know, they're, maybe they're a little bit silly, but you can get like chunkier trainers which are bigger at the heel than they are at the toe. So they will give you that little bit of a lift. Or you could always do something like wear your jeans and trainers, but add a blazer or go for a style of jean that is a little bit smarter, a little bit tailored. I'm so annoyed that I don't have them here to show you, but years ago I found a pair of DKNY jeans in TK Maxx years ago. They were always very slightly too small for me, but I absolutely loved them. They had really, really nice ankle detail. They had like zips at the bottom and they were very slightly flared. But if you're going for like baggy ripped jeans, I just don't think they're as flattering on figures like ours as a much smoother, more well-fitting pair of jeans. I think with jeans as well, I think it's a good idea as well to look for jeans that don't have as much stretch in the denim. I think it can be a lot more flattering if your jeans are a little bit more, not tight fitting, they shouldn't be uncomfortable, but not really baggy, like ripped jeans. I just think that they don't look as good on hourglass figures. Now, obviously, again, <laughs> you can do whatever you like. You can completely ignore this if you want, but this is just my opinion. I just think that I completely agree with Trini or Susanna, I can't remember who said it, but I definitely agree that the hourglass should always be the most well-dressed person in the room. So it's just a few short tips today. Cinch in your waist, know the rules and know when to break the rules. Try and smarten up your outfits so that there's a nice balance there. If you're wearing trainers, maybe pair them with a dress rather than tracksuit bottoms or jeans. And I feel like there's another tip that I put in there somewhere as well, but I can't remember what it was. But as always, I'm going to end the video with my favorite style tip, which is to be confident and wear what makes you happy. Nothing is more flattering than confidence. Nothing looks better with an outfit than a massive smile. And as I said, it is okay to break the classic rules for hourglass figures if you want to. If you feel happy in what you're wearing and how you look, then that will be reflected back at you. Everyone around you will agree with you and think you look amazing. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you next Sunday. Really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you are new. It'd be lovely to have you here in my corner of the internet and I will see you next time. Bye.